Hi. Right. Um, I received this from YouTube about, well, 10 to 10 last night by the looks of it. Um, and basically it's a copyright strike against the channel. So the way it works is if I get three of these within a three month period, the channel's gone. They just they just switch it off and it's gone forever. You know, there's no there's no coming back from it. And uh, and I've received this from the Recording Industry Association of Japan. And I'm not the only one. Um, if you go to A and P Reacts, you'll see they've done a video just like this one because they received one too, and theirs was for uh, Maximum the Hormone. This is for Maximum the Hormone Alien. Theirs was for Maximum the Hormone something else. I think it might have been What's Up People. I'm not sure. And I think other YouTube channels have received these as well. Now, the Recording Industry Association of Japan is not the record label, and it's not the band, so it's nothing to do with Maximum the Hormone. If you see what I mean. This association is basically like the Ministry of Music for Japan and they don't care about the band and its exposure that it gets from channels like this. They don't care about that at all. Their job is to protect the interests of Japanese music and by protect it I mean hit everyone with the band hammer. So I could take any Maximum the Hormone videos off my channel, but it wouldn't make any difference. It, this is the association, the Music Association of Japan, okay? So, in a way, I'm lucky I, ov I only got one of these. And the way it works, as far as I can tell, is if I put a video up for, say, Machine Head, I get a copyright notice automated, it's all automated, the record label that Machine Head is under. The Machine Head's just an example, by the way, but it works like this for most bands. The record label has already registered with YouTube what it wants to happen if somebody uses its song. So if I put Machine Head's Catharsis, which I did, it was the video after this one, I get a notice from, from YouTube saying, my video contains copyright content and what I'm allowed to do with it. And usually, and in this case of Machine Head, they don't, they're fine with it. It's like, you're, you're fine, you can use the content and everything, but I cannot monetize it. And they have the option to monetize it on my video. So they can put adverts on my video. This is fine, absolutely fine. I do not monetize this channel. I make no money from this whatsoever at all. Any adverts you see on any of these videos are put there by the record company, which is their right to do it. So this automated system kicks in, does a match, checks what the rules are, and it might be, it's fine, we don't, you can use it, you can use it, but we will monetize it. You can't use it, and therefore it just gets blocked, or it's blocked in some countries and not others sometimes 200 countries and sometimes just nine or whatever. So the automated system means that, you know, the system knows what to do with my video. In the case of a lot of Japanese videos, whether it's just because of the, the, the language barrier or whatever it is, YouTube does not seem to have these automated. It does sometimes, but usually it does not have these automated systems. They don't catch the Japanese content. So in that case, somebody, the recording, what was it called? The Recording Industry Association of Japan has to find the video and then literally manually tell YouTube, take this video down. And it seems that if that happens, if a manual thing happens, I get a copyright strike because the automated system usually just handles it and goes, we know what to do with it. You can, pl you can play it or you cannot, you know, or somewhere in between. But if it's manual and there is no automated response, then 
YouTube takes it down, as it says on here, they've received a, a copyright takedown notice. So we had to take down your video from YouTube. Here's a copyright strike. So you can only have three of these, like I say, and I have a lot of Japanese content on this channel. So now it's what do I do? What do I do now? Okay. So if I get three of these within a three month period, because this will stay live until August the 13th, I think, or something like that. So my choices are carry on and hope for the best because it's been six months and I've only got one, but that doesn't mean anything. I could get three in the next day. No, this channel's just gone. It's just gone forever. Or well, my other choice is stop doing Japanese music because this isn't a record label and this isn't a, a band. This is the, the Recording Industry Association of Japan. Like I say, it's Japan's Ministry of Music. Um, so any Japanese band that the automated system has not picked up, which is most of them, <laughs> these guys can just hit me and that's the end of that. So I've got this choice whether to just, whether I'm afraid I cannot do Japan anymore. That means no more baby metal, no more Ninganisu, no more anything. Um, yeah. So what do I do? Because to protect myself, if I wanted to, if I was wanted to protect myself straight away, the first thing I would do today, which is what some other channels have done, is remove all of the Japanese content right now. And then I'm, and then I'm done, basically. Uh, except for Sumerian, there's a le record label called Sumerian who uh, will you know, give you these as well. So I don't do any Sumerian stuff, I'm afraid. So between the buried and me and bands that are on their label, I, I cannot do. So I don't know what to do. Do I just remove it all? And then this channel goes to about this big because according to my statistics, 69% of my subscribers are from Japan. Don't know. I'll have to think about it. But I tell you something, if I get another one of these in the next three months, I will absolutely, the decision is made for me. I will have to remove all of the Japanese content. But the problem is I could get three of these in five minutes. <laughs> um, so if the channel suddenly disappears, that's what happened. And I won't be coming back. Um, it's six months worth of work here. And if it all just disappears, all of those hundreds of videos I've made, if it all just disappears off the face of the earth, I probably won't come back. I will probably go off and just listen to my music and keep my opinions to myself. So there you go. I, it was supposed to be very, very short, this video, but I've kind of waffled because I'm a bit, I'm sort of annoyed. I don't make any money out of this. I don't take anyone's money. All I'm doing is introducing Japanese music to the to the West, you know, to the to a wider audience. I am not doing anything, anything to damage the Japanese record industry. I don't make any money out of it. Everything's linked back to the original videos, but it's not about people and it's not about what a love of music. It's not about anything like that. It's just about money and copyright and yeah you're just dealing with a system not youtube system you, to be honest the automated youtube system is pretty fair you know rules are set up and you can do this and you can not no you can't do that it's the manual system when somebody just decides to all they had to, if they could have just sent me a message instead of youtube saying please take down the video I'd have just done it immediately. But I guess that requires too much effort. I don't know. Anyway, so I don't know what I'm going to do. So then, you know, you know, I made a, a good friend. I've got Junichi in Tokyo who, you know, is a good friend. I've had lots of messages from Japan, all positive stuff. And I may have to remove it all. Let me know what you think, but 
It's not about what we think, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, I'm a bit gutted. A bit, a bit sad about the whole thing. That's what it is. I'm just a bit sad about the whole thing. It's just... I, just, I don't really quite understand it, but hey-ho. Hey-ho. Thanks for everything, just in case this video did, this whole channel disappears today. Thanks for everyone for everything so far. See you soon, hopefully. Bye-bye.